All right, this is a leak code medium. Decay closest points to origin. And Facebook has asked this question quite a bit. Um, so we have a list of points on a plane where the point is a 2D array with X and Y coordinates. Find the K closest points to the origin at zero, zero, at X, zero, Y, zero. So it's like a graph, uh, the Cartesian coordinates. Uh, the distance between the two points on the plane is the Euclidean distance. So x squared plus y squared, square root of x squared plus y squared. And this looks like a right angle triangle behavior. So you have the opposite angle, the adjacent. You can find the hypotenuse with this formula, if my memory serves me correctly. So in this case, we're looking for the single closest points to the origin. And we wind up with this. So this is closer to 0, 0 than this. And we're looking for the top two closest points to the origin, where the first thing is x, the second thing is y. And we have this and this and so on. Uh, for our solution, we're going to use an object oriented approach and define a point class. And in it, it's going to have a method called distance from origin that will calculate the distance of that point from the origin. Now we're still at the top K elements pattern, because remember, we're taking a pattern based approach to understanding and solving these problems. And that approach requires you to have a heap that we're going to use over here. So in this case, we're looking for the top three elements closest to the origin. We have all of these points in areas. So the first thing we do is put them, their distance, right? We, we keep track of their distance from origin. And based off of that, we have, we have these computations for each of them. And we populate a maximum heap with those values. Now we're going to iterate through the rest of the array and any distance from the origin smaller than the root of the max heap now, we will cause us to pop this, the root, like get the root out of there and push that new distance from origin into the max heap. And we do that repetitively till we get to the end of the array, as you will see. So we have these values. These are the distances from the, from, from the origin, 0, 0. We populated our maximum heap. The biggest value is on top. And we're looking at, for the top three smallest values. All right. So... We go next because 2.8 for this is less than what's on top here. We take it out and replace it with 2.8. Then 3.2 becomes the biggest thing we've seen so far. Uh, next is 1.1, which is smaller than this. So it's going to make us remove this and, and push 1.1 on there. 2.8, the heap property is maintained. So 2.8. Then... Uh, we consider 3.6, and 3.6 is bigger than 2.8, so we don't add it on there. And with that, we have the three closest points to the origin, right? So we keep track of the distance from the origin as well as what they are, that we just return what they were initially at the end of it all. Now, I'm not going to explain the heap property in this, in this video, but if you follow the code, you will see what a heap is, and you can research that, what the heap property is. Most of these problems, you should already know what a heap is. The, the task is not to implement a heap. It is to, or a priority queue. It is to use it, right? To see how it can help you solve certain types of problems that you have. So that's that about that. It's time for us to look at, look at some code. So this is the definition of the utility class that we're using, the point class with a constructor with the X and Y. And we have a string method to convert it to a string, distance from origin. We are ignoring the square root because, again, you can skip the square root calculation because you know that it's directly proportional. It scales linearly. Uh, and we are just considering relative distances, not the values themselves. Right? They're not asking us for what the values are. That being said, we have this function, k closest, that we're calling. We pass in an array of points and a number right so if k is one we're looking for the single closest point to the origin if it's two the top two closest points to the origin three the top three closest points and so on and we start off with our maximum heap that we've implemented in a utils file that you can find in the github repository for this problem we have the result array that we're going to return so there's going to be an array of points so the first k points into the max heap as you saw earlier from the top, we put the first k points in the max heap. So we push the distance from origin, 
uh, into the max heap and the distance from origin is what we use to maintain the heap property to, to figure out what should be on top and what shouldn't be um how things should be and we also keep track of what point it belongs to so the point array the pair of points um x and y coordinates that that distance from origin belongs to so for instance 3.2 belongs to 1 3 comma 3 x at 1 y at 3 so we keep track of that as well in our heap and up next this comment explains what i mentioned earlier so we go through the remaining points of the input array if a point is closer to the origin than the top point of the max heap remove the top point from the max heap at the point to the input array so we're looking through everything the total point length and for every single one we check its distance from origin if it's smaller than what is on top of the max the max heap we kick it out kick off what's at the top put in uh the new one basically that's all that's the bulk of the problem should this really be a medium problem i guess it builds on a lot of prerequisite knowledge so that, that would explain it and once we're done with that we can loop through the heap k times get out every single thing the point remember we stored the point in the position one that's why it's one here not zero we're storing an array in our max heap every node is made up of a distance from origin and the x and y coordinates and that lives here so we get the x and y coordinates of each element from our heap push it into the result and return our result see fini that's all there is to this problem and This is a explanation of the time complexity O of n log k. n is the total number of points. k is the number of points closest to the origin. And we need to iterate over all n points and perform operations on a heap of size k, which takes O of n log k in the worst case. Okay, fair. Uh, space complexity is O of k because we need to store k points in the heap. Yeah, that's all n log k for time complexity, o of k for space complexity. See you next time.